Hi, welcome to a new lesson. Now, it's time to create the second scene of this animation. So, we created this one. Now, he comes from the left to the right with this dust cleaner, does this curtain a little, and then goes to this couch and does the couch too and go gets out of the scene. So that's the scene that we're going to create. You can see that it's the same walking cycle. It stops here and we have to create this movement and then walking cycle again and then again. So we have to to create three walking cycles and the arms movement. So let's go to their main composition and now he just left the room so we should wait for at least a second until he gets here again so here on the 11 and a half second we can create the second scene so this one we can trim it with alt and the closing bracket because we no, no longer need this and now let's bring our robot dust cleaner let's drop it here and we can fix the position all the way here and make sure that the layer starts right on this point okay now let's open the dust cleaner and you can see that I have already rigged this character. I have the four controllers, the right hand and the left hand and the left foot and right foot. And I have everything parented, the head to the body, the shoulders to the body and that's it. With the hand, with the right hand, I place the anchor point here and this hand has the br the dust cleaner attached in the same layer it's not a different layer you can see that it's the same layer okay so we are ready to create first the walking cycle so for this time I'm going to repeat the process of the walking cycle but for the other two scenes I'm just going to copy the walking cycles from the other robot so let's create this one Let's zoom in until we are five frames apart. Open the position for both of them of the foot. And now we repeat the same process but inverted. So for example, the left foot is the front foot right now. So we will start with that let's uh, create the position for both of them and then five frames later we're going to create one keyframe another keyframe another keyframe until we get the walking cycle so on this first keyframe I'm going to change the position of this front leg to the back like this now on the next frame I'm going to change the position well I have to change here turn this into clockwise okay now change the position up to this point until the leg is bended like this then five frames later the leg will be stretched to the front and five frames later the leg will be here straight like he's standing there okay now grab all these keyframes and remember two things first change this to easy ease and second go to keyframe interpolation and special interpolation from auto to linear 
okay now we have this walking cycle like this of course this doesn't look good right now because we need more keyframes to it so let's create the walking cycle for this leg the right leg and on the first keyframe this leg will be to the front five frames later it will be here a standing still like that five frames later this leg will go all the way to the back and now this position let's change this to clockwise too and this will be the final position keyframe interpolation to linear and easy is I know these steps can be hard to remember all the positions of the legs so I'm going to create an image with these steps and I'm going to share it with you on the project files because that way it will be easier for you to accomplish the walking cycle for this project and for whatever project you want to to create so I'm going to share that with you and that will, will make it so much easier for you to create walking cycles for any character okay but now we need to create more keyframes but first we need to know how much how longer it will take for this robot to get to, from here to here so if we took three seconds we should take three sec three more seconds now so I'm going to move the robot all the way to this point right here where he is going to dust this courting I'm going to click a keyframe on the position and then I'm going to count down one two and three seconds so here should be the third second and right here I'm going to create another keyframe now for the first keyframe I'm going to move the character here so that he goes like this Of course this looks totally weird right now because we haven't created the w the full walking cycle so I'm going to place the indicator here and now on the dust cleaner composition now I know that this walking cycle should get until this point so I'm going to create a marker here with the asterisk on my keyboard and I'm just going to copy all these keyframes until I get to the third second now you can delete the remaining part you can see these keyframes are way out of the marker so I'm going to take this off and I'm going to copy the other keyframes the, le the right foot keyframes with Ctrl C and Ctrl B and again delete all the remaining parts now I should have something like this the walking cycle but I need this to end right here where the foot is standing still so I'm going to stop here and for the right foot I'm going to delete this keyframe because I want the right foot to remain like it is right now and on this keyframe for the left foot which is this one 
I'm going to make this food steel. So that it goes like this. Now let's go to the main comp and let's take a look when he actually stops moving. which is right on this point and I'm going to move this keyframe here and let's see how this looks okay perfect now he gets to this point and now we need to move the body like we did before we have two options we can open and on our project panel we could open the robot water can go to the body click on the position setting and press Ctrl and C and now go to the dust cleaner robot go to the body position and press Ctrl and B and we will have already the movement the thing is that the other robot had a different position of the body so we can just copy and paste right now so we need to create a keyframe five frames later we create another keyframe and we move with the down arrow on our keyboard two times then five frames later two times up five frames later two times down we turn this into easy is and all we have to do is copy these and paste them until we get to this marker okay so now we have the walking cycle looks really nice and when he gets here we should move this keyframe to this part when he gets here he will look up and starts dusting this curtain so we can close this and now we're going to open let's close this to the feet for now and let's open the position for the right and left hand actually just for the right the left hand because this other arm won't be moving so I'm going to create a keyframe here and now 10 frames later I'm going to move this keyframe this arm all the way to this point let's see how it looks on the main comp okay now you can see that the the hand is completely messed so we need to fix the rotation for this controller so all we need to do is to go to the first keyframe of the position and open the rotation with R key click on the stopwatch now let's open both of them with the U key and on this point on this second keyframe when he gets here to the top we need to 
change the rotation to the left until he gets here so maybe around around 175 degrees so this will look like this now we can turn this into ECE's frames okay perfect now we need to change the position so that he gets from the left to the right and with a little rotation so that it looks like he is actually dusting the curtain so we're going to move 10 frames which would be around here and I'm going to change the position to this point and we can change the rotation a little bit so we will have this movement now let's zoom out a little bit I'm going to take all these keyframes and change the interpolation to linear okay now he gets here and he moves to the left and then we want this arm to be on the same spot as before so we are going to copy these two keyframes and copy them here and then we copy this one here so we have this movement like this but when he gets here I want to change the rotation like that and then go back again you can see how it looks so of course we need more copies of this so I'm going to take from this part I'm going to copy all of them and paste them here again so I'm going to have several copies of this and when we finish this we have to take the arm back to the original position which is this one so you're going to take these two first keyframes and you're going to paste them here at the end so he will go from this position back to the original position let's see how it looks on our main comp He gets here and he starts sweeping and then he should go to the couch again so we need to repeat the walking cycle so when he gets to this part when he's standing still what we're going to do is just copy this keyframes for the walking cycle so that he gets he starts walking again but remember what I told you we can just copy them here we need first to create a keyframe right on this point so that it doesn't look weird because otherwise it will create a movement from all this point to this point now we can take the keyframes
and paste them here. The same goes for the right foot. So he lowers the arm and starts walking again. And guess what? We need to move the body again. So I'm going to take my body position, all these keyframes, and I'm going to paste them right here when he starts walking. So that it goes like this. Now let's see how long it should take to, for him to get from this point to the couch. I'm thinking about three more seconds so that we can we keep the same speed as before. So I'm going to move to this point. And I'm going to create a keyframe here. And then on these final keyframes, I'm going to create another keyframe for the position. And I'm going to place the robot right here. So he's sweeping here and goes all the way to the couch now when he gets here we need to again create some keyframes here for the arm so I'm going to create a keyframe for both the position and the rotation and then I'm going to start moving 5 frames and this movement should be easier because I'm just going to move a little bit here and I'm going to change the rotation to the left let's open up these keyframes a lot and now here I'm going to change the position again to this point and the rotation to the right so that this creates this movement like this so I'm going to repeat this a few times maybe two three four times we have this movement now so in this point we need to go back to the original position which is these two first keyframes so he goes like this so we have this movement let's see how it looks on the main comp alright now when he gets fin when he finish moving this dust cleaner he has to start moving again so this time we don't actually need to to create keyframes here for the left and the right foot because this one already has this first keyframe so I'm going to copy this and paste it here you can see that the, st the walking cycle starts right on this point so that's good copy these keyframes 
paste them here and we have again our robot walking now we need to copy the body keyframes I know they, this may seem like a lot of info but once you know the, the drill everything is just repeating the same process you can see that this is the same process that we did with the water can robot so no big deal okay now we have the walking cycle with the body movement now all we need to do is to go to this point in our main comp create a keyframe here and then one two three seconds later move the robot away so that it will look like this so let's take a look at what we did here with the scene let's hit play here he enters the room stops here does the curtain start working again and cleans the sofa and starts walking again so there's something missing here let me see if you know what is missing here that's right we have no movement on the head when he gets here he should lo look up to the curtain and then when he gets here he, he should look down to this little sofa so we need to fix that let's go back to our robot robot dust cleaner we can close all of these off and let's open the rotation here for the head and now actually let's open this position a little bit so when he gets here on the first movement of the dust cleaner the head should look up so I'm going to create a keyframe for the rotation and then 10 frames later I'm going to change the rotation to the left so that it he appears to be looking up now when he stops sweeping with the dust cleaner which is around this point he will go back to the original position which is zero degree like this now when we get to the second part which is on this point let me see if I'm right okay right here we need to create another keyframe for the rotation and then 10 frames later we will change the rotation but to the right so that he appears to be looking down to the little furniture now here create another keyframe and when he starts walking he will look to the front again like this so let's see how this looks he gets here he moves the head and when he gets to the curtain he looks up and starts cleaning so these little details may seem may not seem like a lot but this will make everything because these little details can turn a simple animation into a great animation so pay attention to these kind of details okay we are done with the f with the second scene now let's move to the third one